Most embarrassing situation you've been in? Story inside. Doubt anyone can top it. A few weeks ago I was frisky and for god knows what reason, decided to try use my cell phone as a vibrator. Anyway, it got stuck up there and the only person who could get me to hospital was my friend, who thought it was hilarious. On the way there he posted on Facebook informing the world of my situation, along with my cell phone number. For the next hour, I sat in the emergency room waiting area receiving uncomfortable stares as the phone in my butt rung and vibrated, all the while my flatmate laughing hysterically and telling me I'd better answer it as it could be important. My story. When I was 13 a doctor wrote me an adult dose for a certain medicine based on my weight. I was a fat kid. Our body does not work that way and the medicine ended up constipating me. For a month. I did not crap for a whole month. I got sick. I had raccoon like eyes. My stomach would jump or flutter by itself. I had cramps. Etc. It was bad. I was miserable. I finally told my parents how long it had been since I had crap and they freaked out and took me to the hospital. There. They gave three enemas back to back. After the third and final one. All that water softened all that crap up just enough I could expel it. I ran to the nearest bathroom, gown open in the back, and tried to make it to the toilet. I didn't. My butt was hovering at a 45 degree angle above the toilet when the geezer burst. This next part is not a lie, but I know some of you will think it is. I got crap everywhere. On the ceiling. Somehow. On the floor. The toilet was covered. The walls. Even the sink got hit with some spray. Crap was literally, yes literally, sprayed on all the walls and ceiling. It was everywhere. I felt like a new kid after that. Cleaned myself up the best I could and then had to figure out what to do. There was no way I could clean it all up. I needed a janitor. So I walked out and politely told a nurse the bathroom need a clean up and badly. A janitor was only a few rooms down for some reason so I saw him go by to clean it. But he did not know who I was. He got to the bathroom and the whole I heard. Oh heck no. I ain't cleaning this up. I quit. And he did. I felt so bad. Still do. I made some poor janitor quit his job over a crap caked bathroom. The others were pretty dang good. But I couldn't breathe when I got to the oh heck no. I ain't cleaning this up. I quit. I'm not going to spend too much time with the details since this will likely just get buried at this stage of the post. My most embarrassing moment happened while I was working at a camp for the summer. I was a camp runner, meaning that I was the guy that drove into town for whatever reason. At night I'd sleep in a room with about 10 other guys, and the bathrooms were big and always busy, so I was completely abstinent nearly the entire summer. So one day I got a call that I had to pick up a camper girl who had been bitten by a spider and take her to urgent care. It was policy that if I was driving a camper of the opposite sex somewhere, there had to be another adult, 18 plus of the opposite sex riding with us. The other adult that came with us was this cute girl that I had had a few conversations with prior. I was somewhat sleep deprived at the time, and she knew this. So as she had her camp driving clearance and knew the way to the urgent cur, she offered to drive, and I accepted. The camp was in the middle of nowhere, so the ride to the urgent care was pretty long. In that time I fell asleep. I woke up with my dong hard as a rock and the head of it poking out of the leg of my shorts. Before I was able to get my bearings, I felt a surge of pressure and proceeded to ejaculate onto the glove compartment door. Immediately I heard both a shriek and a girl yell, oh god, holy crap no I turned and looked at both girls. Both of them had obviously seen what happened and both of their faces were like beet red. The car was absolutely silent for the next 10 minutes apart from the sounds of me attempting to wipe up my semen with an old McDonald's bag. Finally we reached the urgent cur, and I dropped them off. After talking with the girl that drove the next day, I had apparently been hard for like 10 minutes. Both of them were fully aware of it, but both were too embarrassed to wake me up. That was the worst. TL. DR. Worked at camp. In car with two girls I barely knew. Had wet dream. Ejaculated on glove compartment. Arguably the funniest thing I have ever read on reddit. Was sleeping over at a girlfriend's house. In the middle of the night I needed to take a leak. So I got up and went about my business and went back to bed. In the morning I wake up next to a slender Burmese man. I was extremely confused and I look out the doorway and see her standing there signaling me out. TL. DR. 
slept with my girlfriend's dad. My most embarrassing moment, daughter's BF crawled into my bed in the middle of the night, pretended like asleep until he left, entire night feared he'd get frisky. May not beat yours, certainly most embarrassing moment of mine and my wife's. Got my wife an early birthday gift, smartphone, first ever for her. She'd been using some old and destructible Nokia forever. I wanted to bring her into the 21 century. Data, social networking, GPS etc. Her actual birthday rolls around. Even though I got her the phone, I had nothing for the actual day. After morning out of bed ritual of shower and teeth brushing, I decide to sexy myself up. Oil all over me. Tie and some shirt cuffs. I am nude save be listed attire. Was going for Chippendale's dancer. Call her back. She is rolling in this. Just loves it. Takes a picture with her new phone. Plot thickens. We go fishing. Catch a few head home. Fill and cook the fish truly looks like a gourmet meal. Wife takes a picture of the fish with the phone. It's late now day is over wife is off to bed. I decide to stay up and play some video games on the PC. Before she went to bed she was uploading pictures to Facebook. Fishing in the meal etc. First image she uploads is my new shot. Thinking it was the prepared fish fillets. Now title dinner yum. Wife couldn't figure out how to delete this accidental post on the new phone. She's screaming running through the whole house to the computer room where I am. Kicks me off forcefully. What I see is to my amazement. Me nude on Facebook. Already two comments. Post deleted. Mission success. Wrong. Post was deleted not the mobile upload photo to albums. Needless to say 13 some odd hours later finding more comments of praise and family disgust. Realize what has actually happened. TL. DR. Wife got her first smartphone accidentally uploaded a photo of me nude to Facebook where it was viewed by everyone we know. When I was in the navy, I was standing watching the engine room one day, or night, I don't remember, I was on a submarine, so you lose track of those kinds of things. Anyway, it was during a workup for a reactor safety exam. So all of the engineering depth was tired from running drills during their off hours, when they would normally be sleeping. About halfway through my 6 hour watch, I had to crap, but I didn't want to wake someone up to stand my watch while I pooped, so I held it in like a boss, for 3 hours, until my relief came. By the time I was screaming down the peeway to the watertight hatch, I had to go so bad I was almost puking. But the watertight hatch that separates the engine room from the forward compartment is about 2 feet off the ground. Too high for me to just bend my legs at the knees and scoot through. My anal clench is the only thing holding back this fecal maelstrom. So I undog the hatch. It's a big mechanism. Takes a few seconds to open. And lift one leg to get it through. And my colon unloads with a fury unmatched. Tube 1 has been launched. And the charge is currently running out of my boxes, out through the leg of my coveralls, onto the deck, and rolling a few inches to the horrified gaze of the rest of my watch team standing behind me, through the strange mixture of embarrassment, shame and nausea from having to poop so bad, I can't manage to say anything except oopsies. Luckily, I'm an engineer so I have a rag in my back pocket, so I go to scoop it up, bending over straight legged and cheeks hugging like high school sweethearts. I walk through the hatch with crap in hand and head forward. The first room you hit when you head forward is the mess, where most of the crew who is awake and not on watch hangs out, watches movies, plays games, etc. Right now, it's full of off-going watchstanders having whatever meal is being served. I go to toss the rag in the trash, and one of my buddies who watched this whole thing unfold is standing in the middle of the mess deck and shouts hey Mikey. WTF are you doing? You can't throw crap in the trash, which is actually true. We compact all of our trash and jettison it. Anything that has liquid in it cannot be compacted or it will lose out the side of the compactor and possibly squirt the poor kid that has to operate the machine. So I'm standing there with a piece of crap in my hand. Half the crew is there, chewing on chicken wheels and staring at me and my bundle of joy. That was the most embarrassing thing I think I've ever had to endure. Upvote for the oopsies. I'm a big guy, but my fiance's female Australian shepherd always acted dominant around me, and tried to hump my leg on several occasions. So one day on the back deck, it tried to hump me again. So I decided to show her who's boss. I grabbed her from behind and started humping her. I did this for, 
I don't know 10 seconds. When I looked up, the new neighbors, who just bought the house next door, were all standing in the yard holding their cardboard boxes, just watching me. At the moment, I thought it will seem odd if I stop humping now, so I kept humping, and just waved to them casually. They didn't say a word, and the next week, put the house back up for sale. All I can imagine is Sasal Milan getting a phone call from your neighbors. After a few seconds he just quietly places the phone down on the counter and backs slowly and carefully away from it. 7th grade Spanish test. It's all quiet in the room. I'm a long haired greasy socially awkward geek. I feel a sneeze coming on but decide to hold it back so as to not draw attention to myself. I try, but cannot contain the sneeze inside. It takes the path of least resistance out of my body my completely stuffed up nose. The sound is incredible. The snot tent is amazing fully formed spider web of snot between my desk and my face. The classroom turns to look at me and sit in stunned silence. After about 10 seconds, the girl in front of me, the hottest 7th grader in a school, says loudly that's gross everyone laughs. I try to disappear. Posted this the other day, a couple of seniors of my high school were pulling into parking lot, before school, in a beta F150. It was a nice Friday morning and they had come up with this silly plan to do a drive by mooning of some popular girls. No doubt to impress, they had done this before so they had a rehearsed plan. As they proceeded to pull closer to the girls, the driver honks his horn as the passenger drops his pants and sticks his butt all the way out the window. The passenger felt a nice fart welling up inside at this time, so he decided it would be extra funny to turn this into a drive by gassing. He executed with precision timing. Here is where it all goes wrong. The previous day was senior ditch day and he spent much of the previous day consuming copious amounts of alcohol, apparently passing out a number of times. So when he let her rip it was not a bubble of gas he was releasing, so much as a torrent of bile and fecal matter, in the form of a geezer. From 5 feet away at eye level, he had unleashed 24 pko crap and hosed the girls. While the first escaped with little damage, the two other girls had taken direct hits. Vomit, screaming and crying was produced by many spectators. Holy crap, this may just top the ARP story. Got great amusements from this. So it's junior year in high school, I'm in first period theology, catholic school, and I'm tired as heck, ironically. There's a cute blonde sitting in front of me and a cuter redhead in back. Despite being tired, I flirt with both of them before class starts, bit more so with the redhead, I'm feeling good about life. So when class begins, satisfied, I put my head down and descend into the deepest of in-class slumbers. What felt like about halfway into class. I'm awoken by the most ungodly sounding flatulence, I mean this was a like a bear fart. I raise my head, in my drowsy stupor, wondering who it may have been and notice the entire class and teacher are looking towards my side of the class. Being tired, I apathetically put my head back down to sleep, but only to be jolted awake, seconds later, by the realization that it was me, I freaking farted myself awake. I mean, I had felt my desk vibrate. Needless to say, that was the last time I ever flirted with the either the blonde or the redhead, who probably got a pretty good idea of what my butthole smells like, or anyone who was in the class ass 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 tl, dr, I nearly crap myself awake in class. A long time ago, my sister, who was 7 at the time, was napping on the living room couch while my mother and I were figuring out the internet. Back in the AOL days, my mom and I are in the middle of a conversation, when all of a sudden we hear huge flatulence coming from my sister. Then she bolts straight up and looks around in confusion. We lost it. I was dying from laughter. This one has haunted me for years. It was the first week of 10th grade, and I was new at my high school. My other new kid friends and I sat down at a table in the cafeteria, and another new girl sat down with us. She was in a wheelchair. So I expected her to be really timid and introverted, but she was actually sarcastic and funny, introducing herself and making jokes about being in a wheelchair. Example, comma her, I'm trying out for field hockey, comma me, wait, really, comma her, haha <laughs> no you idiot, I'm in a wheelchair. Eventually one of my friends boldly asks her about how she ended up in a wheelchair, she says it was cancer, my friend asks which kind, she responds, leukemia. 
have you heard of it? Now, bear in mind, she was funny, she really was, and come on, who hasn't heard of leukemia? So my gut reaction to her response was that it must be a joke. I mean, everyone's heard of leukemia. It was too late. I burst out laughing. I immediately realized what had happened and tried to cover it up by gasping. It only made it worse. Everyone at the table glared at me. I spent the rest of lunch in absolute silence, and I never spoke to her again. TL. DR. Don't laugh at leukemia. Ever. When I was 14 and almost always thought with my penis, I decided it would be great to masturbate with a condom on. Liked how it felt and did it all the Tims for about a week. They also happened to be my dad's condoms. So, long story short my mom realizes that so many condoms are missing and thinks my father is having an affair. Comes crying to me about it and my initial reaction is to deny any speculation that I you 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 that I cried for an hour. TL. DR. Used dad's condoms for W anking. Mom thought he was cheating. Had to tell mom I like to masturbate with condoms. You may have been crying but you were quite a man to own up to it. Frick it. Here it goes. So I was at work and I had to take the Titanic off shoots. I proceed to go to the restroom and sink that crap. Before I flush. I always look. But what I saw this time was horrifying. This crap was the size of a toddler's leg. Flushing isn't an option anymore. I panic and start to look for a solution. Outside the stall I look in the trash and find an empty Pringles can. I proceed to scoop the appendage crap. I breathe a sigh of relief. I flush the remainder and walk out of the stall. My co-worker walks in and says ooh Pringles. Give me one. Before I could say no. She grabs the can and puts her hand in. She freaks out looks inside the can and yells. What the frick is this? All I could mutter was crap. Once you poop. You just can't stop. I posted this a while back but it's just too good. My little brother. My brother is a frickin' weirdo. We will just start it like that. Basically, he always found it really funny to run into whatever room someone was in. Pull his bare butt cheeks apart and fart at them and then hysterically laugh at them. I mean, it really was quite funny sometimes. But this one time, my mom and I were in her room talking and all of a sudden my brother bursts through the door, spins around, does the obligatory spread. But this time something disgustingly magical happened. The most perfect, spherical ball of crap about the size of a large ball bearing shot out of his butt and landed on the floor in front of us. Silence. Then my mom and I proceeded to laugh so hard we cried and my brother was so mortified that he started crying and ran out. He was 11. Man that was amazing. Little crap never did that again. I have two. Both similar. I have been caught masturbating by my mother twice. Both times catastrophically embarrassing for me. The first time was nothing unusual. In my bedroom, she knocked and then walked and not a second after. What the heck's the point of knocking? I was naked but was able to cover up quickly. But she still knew and walked out. I was 17 and I had older cousins. So she asked my aunt about what to do. But she explained what she did with her two older boys when she caught them. This was of course my more gossipy aunt and proceeded to converse with her other sisters and brothers that my mother had come to her with this advice. Fast forward a couple of weeks to a family birthday party. I feel everyone's eyes staring at me, their glares penetrating my skin. My older cousin Allison comes up to me and strikes conversation. Eventually asks me, so how did she catch you I said, um, excuse me she replied, your mom caught you masturbating. Didn't she I suddenly was so overcome with embarrassment that I began to sweat profusely and vomit. Vomit lots, and lots. Like I said unfortunately there were two times. The second time was a little worse. Our computer is in the living room. I was too poor for a laptop. So I was sitting in the spinny computer chair naked. Clothes not even in the room with me. I had gotten home from class a little early and figured I had a few hours before my mom came home from work. I was horribly mistaken. Unfortunately she had been sick and decided to leave early. I heard keys on the other side of the front door. And I panicked. So I turned the speakers and the monitor off as fast as I could. But stayed seated. When she entered. She saw her son sitting quietly at a blank computer screen. 
but as naked with an erection. Luckily I don't believe she saw that part of me seeing as I stayed facing the opposite direction of her, but still terrifyingly awkward. We avoided speaking and eye contact for about 2 weeks. TL. DR. Mum caught me masturbating. Told my family about it. Made me puke. Second time I was naked in the dark. Sitting in front of a dark monitor. Frozen like a statue as she just walked past. Sounds like you need to stop masturbating naked. Thundershaft. That's incredible. And my story definitely doesn't beat yours. But maybe it will make you feel a little bit better. When I was senior in high school. I chaperoned a middle school trip for my church. And for a few days everything went better than expected. The day before we left my stomach started to feel a little queasy, but as I was not in a situation to deal with the problem, I gritted my teeth and waited. Over an hour later I can finally access the bathroom, but I have some 100 yards between it and me. I know I can make it, I know I can make it, I couldn't make it. 15 feet from the door everything went to heck. About an hour later I walk out of the bathroom wearing pants that were not my own. As you can imagine word spread like wildfire. Like I said, not nearly as bad as yours. Oh no. My boyfriend's landlord is my French teacher from high school. It's not a bad situation I was a good student. And it's not like the landlord is over all the time. One day, the boy was going down on me it was the middle of the day and nobody else was home. So I felt no fear in loudly expressing my appreciation. Once I had finished, there was a sharp knock on the door of his room. Hey, rent's due. Good job the landlord called. Apparently he had been standing out there waiting. While I appreciate his allowing me to finish, I still can't look the guy in the face. 7th grade, right before school let out for the summer. Out of class early, decided to go get some freezies. Came back with a box of the dang things, couldn't eat them all. Between three of my like-minded and equally bored friends, we decided to start bribing people to entertain us for freezies. Curiosity ensued. Hey, we'll give you a freezy if you show us your dong. It was going along pretty well. Then this one guy refused, but countered with a I'll show you mine if you show me yours thing. No way. The going rate is one dong per freezy, and there's three of us here, so you better have three dongs under your pants. Then he tried arguing like, one dong freezy is equatable to one set of boobs freezy, which was just plain poor logic, because we had the box of freezies and he didn't. Supply and demand 101. Anyway, I, we settled on some exchange of T versus dong, and he delivered first. Just as I was lifting up my shirt, my godfather English teacher, middle school headmaster, rounded the corner into the common lounge where we were, and commented, Ah, summer esprit, the birds, the bees, my goddaughter's naked tit ties, a little flat, but you've some time ahead of you yet, please give my regards to your father, idk, there was just something about that delivery, so deliberate but aloof, also, the burning shame. Your godfather wins. Best possible response. I live near a pretty congested street and once when I was about 13 my friends and I decided to go for a walk. I was wearing some white jeans as it was summertime and I was trying to look cute. It was the 90s okay. Anyway, we're walking around when I realize that hey, I feel funny maybe it's time to head home. I get home and my pants felt a little warm. I thought meh, it's was. I go to the bathroom to pee and freshen up and to my shock and horror I had started my period. Bright red blood was all over the back of my pants. There was no way people didn't see that. I guess it was less embarrassing because I was oblivious, but I was so ashamed nonetheless. Heard from a nurse friend, someone got to the hospital for similar reasons. It was a regular vibrator, but they could not remove until the batteries died. Needed butt surgery. The funny bit is that the vibration was going through to the stretcher's frame and all personal could hear the hum in the hallway. Hard not to laugh apparently. The first time I met my ex-girlfriend's parents and family, it was Thanksgiving, and PS2 had just came out. I went over we were having dinner and her whole family was there celebrating. Her dad and I start talking. He says he is a big gamer and would love to try it, so I go and get it from my house. I just lived a few miles down the road, along with my VCR because their TV was old and it was the only way the PS2 would work. So he starts playing M2K or some crap. 
Then about an hour into the session, my ex's little sister sitting next to the VCR I brought accidentally hits play with her foot. This causes the VCR to play a tape which happens to be a hardcore PR left in. Up pops a Latino chick getting DP'd on screen in front of her grandmother, little children of the family, mom, everyone. Her dad just says god dang satellite and tries turning it off with the remote. I wait a second, probably a little too long, I could not move from shock, and shamefully get up and walk over to the VCR to turn it off. Her dad says wait was that yours embarrassed as heck I say yep. Everyone laughed and she was so pee, but I ended up being with her for 3 years so it must have not bothered him too bad. Also her family other than her parents were evangelicals they judged me from that point on. And I cannot blame them lol. TL. DR. First time I met Dex's family, brought PS2 and VCR to hook it up. Old TV. On Thanksgiving. Play gets hit on VCR accidentally. DP porno pops on in front of whole family and grandma. I know of a story. A friend of mine is an EMT and he responded to a call of a sex session gone horribly wrong. For some reason, they wanted to do some role reversal. And so the male insisted that the female shove a coke bottle in her vagina and let him suck it like a penis. So, he shook it up, shoved it in, and opened it, and it got his face all wet. Apparently though, it also got lodged in her vagina. They didn't realize it until later, when it got worse. They tried anal, and the neck of the bottle got stuck in his anus and so when they called 911, the EMTs found them naked, attached from her vagina to his butt. And the EMT went on to direct human centipede. Throw away for your information. I'm late for the party. But this is my time to shine. This little event took place about a year ago. And it is by far the most embarrassing moment of my life. This is my ultimate Larry David moment. Anyway. I was at uni during lunch hours. And I suddenly felt an urge to release the chocolate hostages. This is actually a rare event. As I'm not really comfortable pooping in public. But as uni was almost empty, I figured the situation was at least as good as it could be. In my search for the most abandoned bathroom on campus, I eventually found the perfect spot. It was perfect, it was clean and it was big, it even had some fancy armrests on each side. I sat down and enjoyed one of my best poops ever. It was huge, it was liquid and it smelled fantastic. From my puff, I sat there pondering and started reading the newspaper. After about 20-25 minutes, I had to get ready for a lecture and started finishing. The lecture room was nearby so I wasn't really in a hurry though. I folded the newspaper neatly and put it in my bag, washed my hands and opened the door. You probably guessed it, but no, not only one person was waiting, two people were waiting in their wheelchair, each of them with their personal handicap assistant. This is normal in Norway. In a moment of shock and embarrassment I realized I had chosen the only handicap wheelchair accessible bathroom on the entire campus. The floor was swallowing me. It felt like a blackout. I was traveling through distant galaxies, and then I just froze. I stood still like a model posing for a painter. It was the longest seconds in my life. Well, this is where it gets uber awkward. Some part of me thought hey, we got this bro, relax and then I decided to walk with a limp, without saying a thing. The worst part was that when I first started dragging my right foot in the most over exaggerated manner you can imagine, I knew it was too late to stop, I had to finish my act. I have never been so embarrassed. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. for now.